A special thanks to all these super sponsors for contributing to the Ramp Project. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. We're back in the Deimos outpost again, and we are moving on to map 256. How ridiculous is my life? Uh, coffee Break by uh, Sean Shoes. So uh, let's hope this one is a bit of a coffee break. Nice computer to UAC base so far. Got a bit of a zombie problem on the lower floor there. But yeah, this is an interesting room to start off with. You're using multiple heights. Interesting room shapes. I often find that uh, just simple things like subtracting a bit of ceiling on that side and adding it onto the other side does wonders. Right, I suppose I can slip off this way. Now, punishment for being clever. I like the gash that's taken out of the computers. Look at the sector lighting here as well, the uh, way that it cuts off. And you've got the darkness around the side. Okay, we've got to get a blue key. If and don't miss them both. Ah, little coffee. <laughs> That's a cute little secret. I'll be on the watch for more of those. You know, it's odd, I never grew into tea or coffee. I always thought I would, but I just never learned to like them. Tea I very rarely have if I've got a cold or something and I need something to soothe my throat and I need to drink something hot. But I don't, I don't generally drink it. And coffee always just tastes burnt to me. And not just the cheap stuff either. Uh, my uh, wife is horrified that uh, in Scotland it's very normal to just drink instant coffee. That's just how they make it. But even the finest beans from Madagascar that have been slow roasted for five years. They, they, they just ate. They just ate burnt to me. I do very much like hot chocolate. Great exterior zone as well. Got different heights. Maybe you don't have different heights, but you've got the illusion of different heights by putting this cliff uh, all the way to the back, and uh, that that works great. I still hate doing outdoor scenes where I want different heights of buildings, even now. It's uh, not something I've ever got used to. Okay, we're heading back into the base where... Ah! Woo! Hello! Maybe we're heading back out again. Ah, 
You're so good at dodging everything, and then I just took a shotgun right to the chest. There's a big circle-shaped hole through me now, like in the Bugs Bunny cartoon. So let's drink this as well. That is such a great little way of doing secrets. I love the use of curves in this map. I wondered if uh, curved line deaths would ever be a thing in GZ Doom. You could uh, make the line follow a biz, uh, biz uh, uh, the, that kind of curve instead of going in a straight line, but uh, I do understand that it would drive people mad. I think Quake 3 had curved line deaths. Or the equivalent, and that was a big thing. I don't know how they were actually implemented. But if you look at Quake 3, there are a noticeable number of curves in it. What popped open just then? I've seen this before. I never remember which switch it is that opens that secret. All right, nice little excursion to the uh, entryway. And... There we go. Any more secrets I can discover very quickly? Well, that's a secret. I don't think I've been in there unless I approached it from a different angle and I don't recognise it. That's a secret. Uh -huh -huh. And that's a secret within a secret. There we go. Bit late for me, but uh, I did get the super shotgun in the end. This is a great tech based map. This would be right at home as uh, the first map of uh, some unofficial Doom 2 expansion pack. And the. The coffee gimmick was great. Our next stop is going to be Filtro Sewage Economy. This one's by J Soup the First. Ooh. We've got a Hell Fortress invading a base. We've got 249 monsters. Some oily spillage. Let's make a start. Ah, 
Ah, just a little bonus. Sometimes you don't need secrets to have uh, these huge game-changing uh, power-ups in them. And in fact, it's best not to, because otherwise the balance of the map gets thrown off. Oh, there's a switch. Choir sound reminds me of uh, the Heretic games. That was a nice touch, having the lights to turn on. Oh. Ooh, what's going to happen to me if I try to get that key? line myself up with the exit and go, 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 go! <laughs> That's about in line with my expectations. Now, if I can cause some infighting... That'd be just great, thank you. Okay, anything to pick up from the uh, revealed bit? Couple of stim packs which we can come back to. Let's head upwards. Out of watch to my right, yep, there are some hit scanners coming out of there. That's our first uh, heavy. Heavily armed skelly bones. I thought when I was playing Doom with Penny. She just went, ah, skelly bones! And uh, that is the best name for them ever. Something odd that I've noticed uh, about uh, Penny is that she has never seen clowns as entertainers. To her, the, they've always been presented as these scary horror clown monsters. That's just uh, what they are now in the psyche of the... Uh, Stuff she watches. back at the start, okay. That was a neat little circle. Well, we seem to have uh, missed something though, because there's a massive uh, array of zombies spilling out of something over there. Very well placed uh, shotgun there, ready to stab you in the back. Interesting use of the uh, armor as the pillars. 
All right, so I've got the yellow key. I needed the red key. Just reminding myself of what I'm supposed to be doing. Where are you all coming from? Another yellow door. Can't open that one. Did something else open around here? It's uh, an interesting sewer, if you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> In that uh, it, the temptation is to make this just grid maze of uh, rivers with the platforms on either side. But this is really varied. It's a tourist sewer like the ones in France. about the monster counter at the start, but we are tearing through them. It's all these uh, former human hit scanners with the occasional heavier one to surprise you. Can't open that one. Okay. Good to have a direct line of sight to what the switch did, and an immediate signal that you can now go somewhere new. Getting darker, isn't it? that day. Released a Revenant. Oh, I see him. Okay. I thought he was in the tunnel to the side. He's right in front of me. Uh, door I was relying on for uh, my cover closed behind me. Uh, just a bit awkward. Go around here again. Okay, done it. I get uh, very quiet like this, my thoughts are just wandering. I'm in a state of relaxation of zombie killing zen. I'm thinking about uh, I should really start the uh, series I wanted to do of going through all my old games and uh, 
suffering those like my own personal Silent Hill. Because I've really wanted to showcase that. I've got a big history of when I used to make these uh, indie games in the early uh, 2000s. Had a couple of minor hits at the time when, uh, you know, being... Uh, making a game was uh, something special and you didn't get a thousand of them released on Steam every day. And uh, by hit, I mean got onto a cover disc somewhere in Germany. Usually uh, the magazine Bravo Screen Fund was the... Uh, that was the goal. You wanted to be on that. Right, I've been uh, sleepwalking through this. Let's uh, get back to some actual paying attention. I said before that I was impressed with how varied the sewers were, but uh, there is a limit to how much you can do with it. It's been a lot of grey for a long time. Ow. I see the red key. Ah. I do find myself pining for a super shotgun or something a bit more powerful at this point, just to get through the slew of enemies. Right, and that is zero monsters left and we've just kind of stopped. <laughs> just need that red key. And I suppose we just wander all our way back. It's good to have that uh, door that uh, leads you out into the uh, into the previous area rather than having to go all the way back. We've, got even, we've even got a couple of them. Where was that? Where was that room? Ah! Ah, ha, ha, I'm right here! That's cleverly placed. <coughs> And having got the blue key, we can finally go through here, which we saw at the very start of the map, and that is the exit. Yeah, that was another great tech basic map. I think that um, you could do with more variety once you get to the sewer section. Because it's a lot of grey. It's, it's a lot of grey for a very long time. And you could uh, make some uh, brighter rooms have a bit of contrast. But it's well constructed. It doesn't get stale in terms of room layouts. There's a lot of different ones. It's also just a bit kind of disconcerting that the monsters just stopped after the red key. Uh, you could set another trap with a blue one and just uh, make the player fight their way to the finish. But otherwise, that was a very nicely put together map. Two hundred and fifty-eight this time is Rampage by Diamond Centipede. Fort Blackrock. And us at Fort Blackrock, which we haven't been to in a very long time. Oh, I'm nearly two-thirds of the way through. I've Blackrock. done this uh, marathon of uh, ramp maps over the last few days. And uh, 
the end's in sight. Uh, well, it's not really in sight, but it's somewhere on the GPS. A thousand and ninety-five monsters. Some of you are really taking the... Uh, where am I going? Oh, that's interesting. You get little bonuses for going over the pads, like in Wipeout. Is somebody shooting me from afar? Yes. A couple of chain gunners. Is there any chance of some health, do you think? There was some. I missed it, but there was some. Largely staying uh, neutral in this entire <laughs> epic strength battle that's uh, going on around me. Just throw a few bullets in. Just for seasoning. Oh, that was good. Blue armour from that one. Rampage, huh? <laughs> Not being quick today, it's Saturday morning. Right, sorted them out, can I go home now? Hmm. Green and blue, I, well, I assume that's yellow and blue, because there isn't a green key. There's a blue key! Is there going to be a yellow one here? There isn't. Ooh, I can... I can hear some mangry monsters just behind that wall. What do I do now? It's a rare thing to be at a loss for what to do in the slaughter map. This uh, construction in the middle of the room, though. Just wonder, is there a is there a yellow skull that I'm missing? Won't find it. Spelling it like that. Yeah, two seven seven. Uh... Oh yeah, and you've got a. I don't remember it having a tear date boot as well. Which means I need ID my paws. Uh, two six twenty two five eighty. I'm going to stand at the exact place it is. 2620, 25, 80. There it is! Okay. So, how do I get there? So, apparently, if I stand on this, 
That's what it does. Okay. Just to, you've got to stand on those. Uh, oh, the door opened automatically. That's nice. Um, yeah, unfortunately, in my random flailing, somehow I had not stepped on this magic one that uh, teleports the yellow key out of its hiding place, uh, which is a pretty easy thing to miss. So what now? Plasma gun's good. Make sure I'm stepping on all of these now. Oh, God. Don't need the Mega Sphere just now. Rather miraculously. Uh, Kaka Demon's coming out of the pipes. Oh, and in my first room as well. Let's cause some chaos. Get out the way, you gaggle of roller skates! Oh dear. Alright, so I kind of want to be down here and then get their attention. Because <laughs> this is a much more defensible place. And the Revenant and the Pinkies might come and get me, but they've got a big wall of Cacodemus to get through first. Nothing a mega sphere can't fix. Ooh. Ooh, a lot of you aren't there. in. There we go. Having much less of a coffee break on this map than I did in the first one. Still just got to get all of those enemies out into this corner. And then just uh, hope that I've cleared out them out enough. Oh, there's still loads of them there. Okay. There was a medikit over here, but I just must have seen the white of the floor. It's a nice looking slaughter arena.
Should I move on or should I assume that uh, they're going to be useful? Oh, we're just back here, all right. Still 500 monsters left, which is not a small number, but it's a lot better than it was when we started. going down very much despite my best efforts. Let's do that again. These uh, arrangements of pillars are very nice for getting rid of the uh, homing missiles. So have I stood on all the platforms I need to? We did get a blue skull, oh no, but uh, we did get a red skull. Oh, wait, that's new. How'd I get here? Um, yeah, all right. have moved out of slaughter territory now. We've got a room with, uh, you know, a few mancubuses in it. Oh, what have I tempted this to do? Oops. Plenty of megaspheres around, something is going to happen and I'm not going to like it. lowering. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't think you'd uh, arrive so quickly. I'll just take that. Okay, let's do something about this. Oh, 
That's the entire greenhouse, isn't it? I like the uh, effectively limitless ammunition just from picking up the uh, cells as you passively wander around. Again, it's kind of hovering rather than going down. Grateful for being able to go under and over cacodemons. Mostly under. Oh. Let's uh, wander over and uh, get some more of these. Here we go. Wasted a bit of ammunition there because I was so concentrated on uh, finding some health down there and uh, didn't realise I was still holding the fire button. We seem to be chewing through them. Not long now. Okay, just 31 left now. Cells? No, I'm not going to be so lucky. There we go. Oh, all right. We've got to get back to that lift. No. Oh, chair noises, sorry. I have this terrible habit of folding my left leg underneath me. And I do it unconsciously when I'm concentrating on the computer. And I only notice it when I realise that uh, that entire side of my body's gone numb. I think I'll have one of these mega spheres. And that looks very much like the exit. All right. <clears throat> very nicely uh, presented slaughter map. The second half was unusually. Uh, not exactly chilled out, but much easier than the first half, especially the part with the mancubuses, which felt like a strange lull, but, you know, I'm not complaining about that. It's just an observation. And then it was nice to be able to just uh, mow through all the cacodemons, pain elementals, lost souls, and uh, gradually reduce them. That was quite satisfying. And I'm leaving quite satisfied.
We've got a nice mixture of stressful and relaxing this time, I think. Uh, this one promises to be the latter. It's Deep Canyon by Philippe R. No chainsaw for you. That is a deep canyon, and it seems to be dressed up for Independence Day. So what's this? This is... Oh, it's... Uh, I wondered if it was portals doing that, but it's a uh, gradually narrowing... ...circle. Okay, got a yellow key out of that. Your base construction's good. All these little nooks and crannies and lights poking out, it's uh... Oh dear. Two of them as well. Okay. No big deal. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't go through there because there was no way through. You know, Sandy Peterson was right. Barrels are a lot of fun. Don't see enough of those. Was that Sandy Peterson? Was that American McGee? I don't know. Still. There's the exit. That was a nice, brief relaxation map. You had a climax with the arch files in here. Nothing I can't handle. Here we go. Wow, and just immediately this looks amazing. Looks like we're in for some pretty tough going with 409 monsters. But uh, hopefully we'll do some sightseeing while we're there. Let's jump across. Already? Can you give me a slight break first? Don't quite have the ammunition to deal with them. Oh no, there we go. That'll do. Right. Come here. Uh -oh. oh! Just caught on the edge of a blast. There seem to be some revenants behind me. Right. As long as that other one's distracted. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm not really sure of what I should be prioritizing. Ugh. 
знаю. Но... Да, что это? Don't know how I avoided being set on fire there, but uh, it's very welcome. Uh. Right. Hit it with a pistol and it just died of embarrassment. That's great. Okay, I can go that way provided I can uh, stay on the platform for long enough. There we go. Oh, no, there's a pain elemental there over as well. I think I... Oh, no, I didn't get the chain gun. <laughs> Oh, I did get the chain gunner. There was just another chain gunner. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's go uh, downstairs. Okay, I'm less prone to being hit by anything here. And I'm quite enjoying it. very useful that the uh, auto-aim applies to enemies. They will accidentally hit each other if there's an enemy in the way, uh, even if it's offset vertically, if it's within your line of sight. Right, there's some health. Pain Elemental's gone. Ow, ow, ow. Oh no, there's another art trial. <sighs> Alright, let's not let that art trial out. That seems a solid plan. out of sight of that chain gunner. Oh dear. Why did the Revenant deal with him? be the uh, preferred way to do this map. Oh! Chain gun. Oh, that's good. Oh, didn't get the stun I wanted. Or the uh, complete lack of monsters in any one area of this map that I wanted. Oh, 
Oh my god. I'll have that, thank you. Alright, now round this way. <laughs> ah. There we go. Right. And the yellow key was here, and... Oh, no. Hit by the ice rail. Yellow key. Water. Archviled. Oh, I'm alive. Can't get that. Where's that teleporter? There it is. Oh no, I'm next to a cyber demon. So even if you teleport, this is annoying because even if you teleport, as long as that teleportation doesn't actually break the line of sight with an arch file, it'll track you perfectly. Just like that. Oh, thank you. Oh! Let's try going this way. Those uh, caca demons are kind of well placed in that they they can just track you all over the map. Oh, there he is. Okay. Somehow I thought he was in the middle of this zone, but uh, it's the same one that I was contending with earlier. Oh, maybe there's a different one. Not that way. We're going to step over a bit here so the arch rail can't see me. Oh, there's another one! My god. I thought I'd uh, telefragged something there and made my life a bit easier. It was just the noise of resurrection. And there's another one down here? Oh no, I woke him up. Oh dear. That's fine. 
Right, I needed that. Oh, I got you before. God, how many caca demons more do you need? <laughs> what is this trick with uh, teleporting monsters in? just on top of where the unidentical monster was. It's like having a single monster with much more health than the regular ones. Is there much chance of escape this way, do you think? You see, the... <laughs> the tactic, everyone knows this, the Cyberdubin shoots three rockets. But he doesn't have to shoot three rockets, he can just decide to shoot three more rockets at any moment. Let's run. to kill you. If I keep going through this, will I eventually just uh, go through the entire monster count? Oh, look at the number of khaki demons out there as well. Oh yeah, the Iraq the I like the ceiling texture, though. Alright, I think we know by now this isn't happening. Let's IDDQD and look at the rest of the map. So, more caca demons after the yellow skull. This is another infinitely respawning spider? Just interested to see how many of them there are. All right, so uh, more than that is the answer. So that's given us the red key. Oh, that'll help. Oh, look at those vines as well. I was curious about whether this side was blocking access to something. Oh, it's the blue armor. Where was the other? The uh, Mancubuses. Where were they? 
Yeah, up here. I was hiding here earlier and I wondered if that was the route to something. Yeah, I see what it is. So there are these health refill points you can get to. And you've got to be careful about which uh, bands of monsters you're going for. Secret round there, that's nice. Where are all these imps coming from? Did they teleport in when I wasn't looking? Okay, and that gives you access to the BFG. And it's very enjoyable to use it on those to start with. And is that the end? It's not the end. Didn't quite think it could be the end. But if you have the time to stay around here, that's the end. <laughs> All right, beautiful looking map, definitely beyond my abilities, but a very nice looking map. And uh, I can kind of see the tactics you might be able to use to get through it, if you're not me. Thanks also to patrons of all tiers who contribute to the monetary and mental cost of hosting Ramp. If you'd like to support the project, please look at David X Newton on Patreon. 